Hello and welcome to Introduction to APIs. In this video, we're going to give you a guided tour on how we can bring in two different APIs. One of them we're going to bring in via URL and the other one we're going to be bringing in via the Johnson code. So what is an API? Well, an API is a way that we can connect with another endpoint and get live data. It is fantastic for keeping your screens up to date with the latest information and make them engaging for your audience. Once you've logged into your digital signage solution, we're going to move up and we're going to click on new creative. You can either use one of the pre-made templates or you can start with a blank page. And for this video, we're going to use a blank page. So I'm going to click on it once. On the left hand side are my widgets and this is how we bring in the information. In the middle is our canvas and this is what we will publish to our digital signage screens. And on the right hand side are our settings and these will change depending on which widget we're using. We're currently on the default settings, so the creative, and the first thing I'm gonna do is rename it. So I'm gonna call it API. I'm now gonna go all the way down to the bottom here until we come to load preview parameters. If we click on it once, it will now give us three options. We can set parameters, we can have custom parameters, and we can bring in APIs. So I'm gonna to go to API, click on the pencil, I don't currently have any APIs connected with this creative. And that is important because I can add a load of APIs here. And then if I then go and start a new creative, this list will be empty. We have to add it per creative, all right? So they don't just stay there as default. So the first thing I want to do now is click add, and I can either bring them in via URL or I can use the Johnson format code and I'm going to bring one in for each. So let's do the URL first and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it air. And then all we need to do is paste the URL in. And this is a free API and this is coming from the Transport for London and it's to do with air quality. I can then say how often I want it to refresh. So zero mean is constantly looking for live updates. There are two types of requests. We've got get and post, and this is a get. And when you look at your API to bring in the URL, it will tell you whether it's a get or a post. We can then add content to the main body as well as headers and header values, but we're not going to go into that today. And what we're gonna do now is add the key. And we're always gonna start at one. And then when we add in our second one, it would be two. If we bought in a third API, it would be three. It's a way that we can identify it in a moment. So I'm now going to click on test and it's given me a load of code. Don't worry if you don't understand, it's absolutely fine because we don't need to go into that. We just needed to make sure we can see it and bring it in, which we can. So I'm now going to click save and we've bought in our first API. If we now click OK, now we have to bring it and bring that information and put it onto our canvas. And to do this, we're gonna use the label widget. I can either drag it onto my canvas or I can click on it once and it will appear in the middle. To move it, just move your cursor to the middle of your widget, press and hold, and we can then move it around the canvas. And to resize, just move to a side or a corner until the cursor changes and then press and hold your mouse button and we can then drag it across to make it the size we would like it. So I've now got my widget where I would like it. Now we need to choose the information to bring in. And to do this, we're gonna move up to the top here and we've got a parameters button. It looks a bit like a cog. If I click on it, it's asking me to add an expression. We don't need to type anything in, just simply click in it once and it will start to populate automatically for you. So as you can see, it's asking me, and I'm gonna go with custom, uh, current forecast, I'm gonna go with zero, and I'm gonna go with forecast type. It's now brought in all of the information I need, and I'm gonna click copy. Now, we're gonna move over to the right-hand side here, and we're now on the label settings. From here, we can change the font. So this will be changing the font of the information that comes in on the look of it. We can change the size, we can change the color of the text, we can also make it italic, bold, underline, as well as the alignment. All we need to do now is paste that into the label box and it's brought in the word current. Okay, I'm now gonna add another one in. I'm gonna follow exactly the same steps 
and this way we can bring in all sorts of different information. So last time I went for zero and this time I'm going to go with forecast summary, copy, paste it into my label and there we go. Okay, so that's not available just yet, but it will be soon. So that's how we can bring in an API. Now we're going to bring in the second type. So we're going to follow exactly the same steps. So we're going to go to the right hand side. We're going to click on creative. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom until we see API. We're then going to click on the edit button. We're going to click on the add. And this time we're going to go to the manual button. Now we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm just going to call it report property key and if you remember because it's a second API I need to add two. Now all we need to do is copy the Johnson format data in. There we go. So if you're sent it as a folder just copy everything and then paste it directly into this section here and then we're going to click save. We've now got two different APIs. We're going to click OK and we're going to follow the same steps as we did with the first API. We're going to come over, we're going to click on the label I'm going to move it roughly into position. There we go. And again, we're going to go up to the top. We're going to click on the parameters button. We're going to click once. We're going to choose custom. This time, we're going to choose the second API. So if you had a whole list of them, you would just go to the relevant number. And I'm just going to click on info. I'm going to give it a title, copy, and again, just paste it into my label on the right hand side and you would just keep doing this to add the information you would like. So we'll do one more. So again, the cog, click on it once, custom API, number two, because it's the second one, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm just gonna find the most appropriate info, and then I'm gonna go with description, click copy, and then I'm gonna paste it into the right-hand side here and it's bringing in more information. So we keep adding labels to bring in the required information. So you may well have a title, you may well have a description, and so on. Within the API, we're open to bringing in lots of different API, and if you wish to go more advanced, please speak to support, and they will be able to assist you in bringing in more advanced APIs. Thank you very much for watching this video.